So what's going on guys, my name is Mr. Dalek JD, and in this video I'm going to be showing you another cipher on Setsubo no Shima. This cipher you're going to be able to find in the Division 9 kind of testing area near Mule Kick when you're going underwater to try and find the KT4 part and the Packer Punch piece that is located underwater in this section. If you swim up and then look up towards the ceiling, you'll see this cipher here. And this one is extremely exciting. If you enjoy this, definitely drop it a like rating and check out the other ciphers and each Easter eggs I've already posted today. But anyway, this cipher says, My name is my name. My name? Oh, yes, it is Gersh. How long have I been floating? Minutes? Years? Where is now? I guess I can forgive Yuri. I quite like my new form. Hmm, where am I now? A city on fire. I know this place. Finally, I am home. Now, a good chunk of you will probably not understand the significance of this cipher, but some of you diehard zombie fans will understand and recognize the names mentioned in this cipher, Gersh and Yuri. If you don't remember, all the way back in Ascension, Gersh was a Soviet scientist and the leader of the Ascension group. He oversaw Project Thunder and worked with Yuri on the Gersh device before he transferred Yuri to rocket research. And during Yuri's descent into madness, Gersh noted his increased aggression towards the other scientists as well as the fact that he muttered to himself. He then confronted Yuri when he found him working on the Gersh device and threatened him to have him permanently removed from the program. Now the key thing is Yuri tricked Gersh into activating the Gersh device which sucked him into the black hole. The triggering of the device is possibly responsible for the appearance of the zombies in the Ascension map and he was originally thought to be dead but he was in fact trapped by the Casimir mechanism which is the whole system that we use to talk to Gersh throughout the entire easter egg of Ascension and after being freed by our characters it is unknown what became of him until this very day with this cipher which is extremely exciting you remember doing that final step of the easter egg seeing that weird orb fly into the sky that is the spirit of Gersh we've had absolutely no idea what has happened to it and this is fantastic because again they're going back to storyline which they never fully explained and expanding upon which is fantastic news so the update now is Gersh still knows his name he's been quite secretive about this now and he doesn't realize how long he's been in the ether for but he says that he figures he can forgive Yuri for what's happened because he quite likes his new form which is interesting and he wants to go and ask where is he now a city on fire I know this place finally I am home we know that Gersh was a Soviet scientist meaning he was Russian and a city on fire links in very well to where Nikolai's next map will take place which is DLC 3 in Stalingrad there is a very good chance that in the next DLC See, we will come across Gersh in some way, shape, or form, perhaps through communications, through machinery, just like we have with Maxis at some occasions. But this is so, so exciting for the storyline of Black Ops 3 Zombies that not only are we having stuff from Moon explained in the Eisendrak, but now stuff from Ascension and Shino Numa being explained in this, as well as stuff from Origins. It is just absolutely fantastic, and this is just scratching the surface of the ciphers available on this map. And I'll have more coverage of these ciphers for you guys so make sure to stay subscribed if you haven't already drop the video a like rating let me know your thoughts on this down below in the comment section and i'll catch you guys on another one soon